In the previous lesson, we started with the first line of defense, that is the security recommendations provided by Moodle.org. Now, we will continue on this topic by looking at the security features provided by Moodle one by one. All of these security features will be housed in the security menu under site administration. And you can see these pages here. Site policies is the most important, so let's start with that page. This page has about 35 security options that can be configured by you, the admin. As you can see in this page, every option has a nice descriptive text help right below it, and it is also well named. Because of this, I will not be going over all the options in this lesson, but only the most important ones. Let's look at this force users to login option, which is no by default. Normally, many installations are designed to show course listings on the front page as a sort of teaser. If this checkbox is enabled, it prevents any type of course information or activity being shown on the front page. This other option, force users to login for profiles, does exactly that. When someone clicks on a username, they can see the profile information only if they are already logged in. This is quite useful, for example, both for privacy and to prevent spam. One more important option, open to Google, is an option that will allow the Google search crawler to enter and index your site as a guest. Of course, you should have enabled the guest access first. But the other implication is that visitors coming in from a Google search page will also automatically enter in as a guest. So this needs your careful consideration. One technique is to have a dummy course to be used only for SEO and then perhaps channel interested learners to paid courses. Now let us look at one more option, maximum uploaded file size. This determines the limit for a file uploaded anywhere on Moodle by any user, whether it's student or teacher or manager. This option is famous or perhaps notorious because this is the most frequently asked question by Moodle admins. Actually, max file size can be controlled at four different places. In order of precedence at the server level, Moodle site level, course level, and at an individual activity level. Note in that order which I just now mentioned. You can actually just set the upload limit here. If you want to restrict, you can reduce also. Since this option needs more explanation, I have added a PDF file in the resources section of this course, which provides a lot more detail. This PDF file is made from Moodle's own documentation. Now we will look at one more excellent feature of Moodle. Suppose you want your users to read and accept to your organization's site policy before entering into a site. There is an easy way to do this. First of all, create a page that contains the policy. For example, I have created a simple HTML page and put it on my server. Next, paste the URL to that page inside this text box. This text box will actually be blank by default. Let me show an example of how the site policy works. I am now going to switch over to a different browser. I had earlier created new user just for this lesson and to demo, I will log in with this new user for the very first time. And as soon as I log in, now I am led to the site policy agreement page. I cannot enter Moodle unless I first agree to the policy. If I agree to the policy, then I will be led in. So this is how it works. Returning back, you can see the next option is for guests only. You can work with the two options in any combination. With these two, you can work in any combination. For example, maybe you can use the same policy for both or different ones for each or you can have a policy only for the guest users. The last one that we will see on this page is the password policy. Using these options, you can enforce password creation to follow the rule that you set here. 
for example by default moodle already enforces several rules like a minimum of eight characters total with at least one digit uppercase and lowercase characters use these settings with caution though you don't want to make it very difficult to create and remember passwords so finally in conclusion this site policies page is very useful and powerful exploring this page and customizing it to your needs is one of the first things to do for moodle security